Doctor De Silva. It's the big stuff. Who do you think you are? They say beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but we all know that's bollocks. Some of us are lookers and some of us not so much. But what makes one person better looking than the next? It's all very nice, isn't it? Very clean. No one coughing. I'm at a private hospital in London's Harley Street to meet a man who believes he has the answer. Hello. Hello, Kathy. Very nice to meet you. Thank you for doing so. Nice yeah. To meet you. Please Thank come you. and have a seat. Dr. De Silva describes himself as a celebrity facial plastic surgeon, helping women improve themselves. People often go to the hairdressers with a photograph of a haircut that they want. Do you get people turning up with photographs of Kim Kardashian saying, I want to look like this? Some patients do come in with photographs of celebrities, people they've seen on social media. Has anybody come to you with a photograph of me and said, I'd like to look like this? I haven't had that experience yet, but you never know. You never know. <laughs> Most people want to look a little bit more attractive, look a little bit more beautiful. But one of the challenges we have is that how do we actually define beauty? What is beauty? Mm -hmm. And since the times of the Greeks, philosophers have debated over what the definition of beauty is. So male philosophers. Male philosophers. Male philosophers. This is absolutely yeah. true. Yeah. And the research that I did took what we call the golden ratio. So we could look at a human face, what is quite a subjective part of, mm -hmm. of the body, and we could actually get a scientific value on what the definition of beauty is. So to give you an example of that, well, we looked at a number of different celebrities, people who are in the public eye a lot, and Amber Heard came out top. Her proportions, when we averaged everything out, was 92% was the golden ratio. Do you think you're beautiful? Yeah, I'm a beautiful person. I know I am. I'm very kind. I've got my faults and my flaws. But I think on the whole, um, yeah, I do think I'm a beautiful person. So what we also did, we were kindly sent a photograph of yourself. So we did the same analysis that we did for um, the other actresses and celebrities. And there's certain things that came out extremely well. Your eyebrows scored well, you have relatively high arched eyebrows. But I don't have hair. any eyebrows. Well, we were looking more at the proportions oh, as I opposed see. to the actual right. like quantity. Mm -hmm. So what could we do to improve things for you? To give you an idea of things. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, so... I mean, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> that, I mean, that's what I'd look like if I got rid of my double chin. It's my double chin yes. is the one thing that I really don't like about myself. Yes. But I've grown to love it, Absolutely. you know, and not be so worried about it. Especially as I've got older, yes. I've sort of cared less, which is great. What's interesting now is that I notice more when women haven't had any work done. You know, I met an older actress recently. This woman is like in her late 60s. And I was just so impressed and taken aback that she hadn't had any work done. And do you know what? I just felt it made her look more beautiful. It's that lived in look, you know, seeing the lines on someone's face is just fantastic. And all that sort of going. Do you mind me asking, if I did have this procedure, what sort of price are we looking at? To you know, comprehensively improve like, your face and your neck and freshen up your appearance, and the price of the surgery is going to be upwards towards £20,000. I think I'd, I'd sort of feel a bit ridiculous, really, yeah. because it just doesn't... To me, to me it doesn't look yes. real, yes. you know? Well, in a way, Cathy... You've been looking in the mirror every day for many years. Right? Yeah. And so any kind of change, it will take a little time to adapt to. And for most people, like having you know, a little bit of filler, a little bit of enhancement, they're still going to look natural. So I think in a way we do need to embrace these things. You know, there's part of our culture now and there's really no going back. Mm, OK. And what do you consider beautiful? I mean, you know, um, who do you consider 
beautiful. I have to say my wife. Of course. Do you mind me asking you if your wife has had any work done? My wife, I have done a few minor treatments for my wife to just refresh her. She's kindly given me three beautiful children, so I've done a little bit for her just to refresh her. Mm -hmm. But she's beautiful as it is. It's this surface thing. You know, somebody can be incredibly beautiful, but they can be a real, you know, fucking horrible person. You know, I mean, Eva Braun was quite attractive, you know, she was a Nazi. So yeah, did that, met a top surgeon. He was very nice, but I was still gonna keep me double chin, me saggy old neck, me rotten old jowls, me miserable lines, my frowns. I'm gonna keep it all. <laughs> 